Breaking a major and important report. Did a top Phoenix police detective mishandle evidence in a large number of murder cases? Right now, we know those problems go back years, and the number of impacted cases is likely in the dozens. And the scary part in all this, police and prosecutors don't know if the problem is even bigger. Here's ABC 15 Chief Investigator Dave Biscabing. We've been hearing about this for a while, but couldn't get much solid information. And that's because records are sealed and there are protective orders in place. But we just obtained video from a recent court hearing where a lot of information just came out. Good morning, everyone. If everyone will take a seat, we're going to get started. This grainy video was recorded from the courtroom camera. So, uh, this is a sight to behold. The gallery is filled with right. attorneys for uh, dozens of murder morning, cases, everyone. some death penalty. Uh, we are here on 37 cases that have been consolidated for the purposes of this hearing. The purpose? Former Phoenix detective Jennifer DePonzio. She went on leave in July 2021 for a confidential medical issue, and prosecutors and defense attorneys both agree she left behind a mess, mishandled, undocumented, and unorganized evidence that's impacting a lot of cases. How many? The judge and attorneys discussed 37 active criminal court cases and 61 total police investigations. But there could be more. Detective Jennifer DePazio had her fingers, if you go through the metaphor, metaphor, in a lot of murder pies. For years, at least. We know at least since July 2021, this has been an issue. She was training other people. She was involved with other people on murders. At the hearing, where this matter was finally discussed publicly in detail, the Maricopa County Attorney's Office and defense lawyers argued about how much information should be released about DePonzio's misconduct and her medical condition. There is no mistakes that were covered up. There were no errors that were, I should say, covered up. I want to be very clear. We are not covering up anything. We're not trying to conceal anything. Prosecutors defended themselves. But defense attorneys claimed officials sat on info about problems with the evidence. The only reason we are at this point today is because of relentless questioning, pushing, where are we going to get this information, what information exists. So I just want to, by way of background, point out this information did not come to light through the altruistic tendencies of the state in this case. During the hearing, there were some other serious issues raised like Phoenix didn't complete an internal investigation into DePonzio's misconduct because she resigned. There should be transparency for all of these issues. This is not just a Detective DePonzio issue, it's a PPD issue. The Phoenix Police Department is under Department of Justice investigation. That's why defense lawyers believe the protective order needs to be lifted, not only for their cases, but for the public. Malfeasance of a detective in murder cases. It cannot be permitted to silence people on an issue of such great import. Now at the hearing, the judge signaled she's likely to allow the release of more information. Her ruling hasn't been finalized yet. And as for DePonzio, information about her medical condition was not discussed. It's being kept confidential. I'm investigator Dave Biscobing, ABC 15, Arizona.